this article reads fire uk health secretary for lying to everybody during pandemic prime minister's ex chief advisor the uk prime minister former chief advisor dominic cummings has issued a scathing indictment of the government's COVID-19 response, saying the health secretary should have been sacked for lying to everybody. Speaking in a, to a joint inquiry of the Health and Social Care Committee and the Science and Technology Committee, Cummings lambasted Health Secretary Matt Hancock for lying on multiple occasions during the pandemic and exposed the list of failures by the government, citing at least 15 to 20 things. Cummings said the health secretary has misled the public and his fellow cabinet members about the scale of the impending pandemic and the government's plan to, to, of action to deal with it and fell short of what the public expects during a crisis like this. There is, there's no doubt at all that many senior people perform far, 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 dis, far, far disastrously below the standards which the country expects. The former advisor, who was seen as one of Johnson's closest confidants during this ten, his tenor, t tenure, gave a scathing indictment, indictment of the government's failure to effectively fight COVID-19. Criticising its slow response, Cummings claimed officials failed to move to a war footing sufficiently early as cabinet ministers including the Prime Minister, took time off for a holiday during February 2020. Continues, the government rejected criticism, arguing that its priority has always been to follow scientific guidance in order to protect the public and save lives. The comments from the comments come after Cummings, sorry, the comments come after Cummings left his position as the Prime Minister's chief advisor following reports of internal disputes between parliamentary fractions. One second, I've just had a pop up from my Brave browser. I was going to explain to the audience about the Brave browser and its benefits. It's basically a browser that allows you to earn money while um, using the internet. And I just had a notification from it. Okay, let's continue. Um, in recent weeks, Cummings has used Twitter to publicly attack the Johnson, raising concerns about both the PM's competence and integrity in managing COVID-19 and the issue of who paid for the extensive renovation renovations to his Downing Street flat. And are there many cop there's 29 comments on this one. I'll read out the first two. Not the not the 77th has replied eight hours ago. Whether this has damaged Boris or not, do you all hear the sound of laughing? That's the sound of thousands of medical litigation solicitors all getting ready to earn their retirement pension by suing every doctor who signed the discharge papers for all of the COVID positive elderly patients to be sent to COVID negative elderly care facilities as Cummings just confirmed they did. Those doctors abandoned the most fundamental tenant of modern medicine. Do not harm and we're complicit to mass murder of thousands of elderly. So when they're stood in the dock, all those doctors are going to have to decide once and for all which mask they're going to nail their colours to. Well, that was a very um, strong response. Um, I don't know if I'm comfortable enough to respond to that on my first podcast, um, on my first live stream, but yeah. They don't hold back on the comment section on this news website, do they? Um, I'm 